Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing you my best of 2019 video. Basically, all this is going to consist of is this can consist of a few categories of which are, in my opinion, the best of 2019. These categories are as followed. They're going to be my best razor or my best razors. I'll explain the format in a minute. My best scents, my best soap bases, my most innovative artisan, my best newcomer, my best aftershave splash, and my best brush maker. There will be a runner up to some of these because I found it very, very difficult to choose. Yeah, um, so there'll be a winner and a runner up. So I guess we may as well get started and not waste any time here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna do best razors. I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't a little bit biased here, um, but as a caveat, I work for this company. Uh, the company is Carve Shaving Co. And the razor is the, this is the bead blasted stainless steel razor. This isn't the polished stainless steel razor. The reason why I chose the, the generic non-polished variant is because I'm actually not a huge fan of polished razors. I've spoken about this before. Why is this made it for me? Well, if I was looking at it completely subjective and or even objective, let's think about this objectively. So um, as a company, Carve offers several different handle types, uh, three inch, 3.25 inch, 3.5 inch and four inch. We also offer double A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G plates in both open comb and safety bar. No one else is doing that. No one else is allowing you to customize your shave like that to that degree. Not only that, but this razor shaves very, very well. Um, before I started working for Carve, my my good razor was pretty much defined whether it was smooth or not. And I would go as far as to saying this is one of the smoothest shavers on earth. Um, definitely that come out of North America. I believe that this is number one and those were the reasons. So smoothness, variety, Aesthetics are incredible. No one else is making handles cut to the same precision of this. Yeah, so Carve Shaving Co. Stainless Steel Christopher Bradley is my number one. My number two is New in the Den. I've been using this for about two weeks and frankly, I've fallen in love with it. This has definitely become one of my favorite razors. This is the home-like shaving start razor. This is made in Russia. Uh, it shaves very similarly to the carbon. It was in my first spot. In terms of kind of the differences though, the nuances, the blade tabs are covered. I know people care about that. I'm personally not too bothered about that. Um, I prefer the knurling on Carve's handle. I don't think the knurling on this handle is that great. The base plates come with this, however. So $150, I believe, will get you four base plates. Um, a 0.68 safety bar, a 0.90 safety bar, a 0 0.90 open comb and a point and a 1.18 safety bar. Lots of variety giving you the option to dial in the shave. Personally, I would like a middle ground of the 0.68 and the 0.9. I'd like a 0.8 or a 0.85 or a 0 0.75, 0 0.78. Somewhere in between would be ideal for me. But nonetheless, Home Like Start Razor is my runner up for best razor of the year of 2019. That's the first category out of the way. So the next category for me are my favorite scents of 2019. Now this was difficult because I liked a lot of scents this year. Um, some fantastic releases from Barrister and Man, some fantastic, fantastic releases from uh, Talbot Shaving, Ariana and Evans, Declaration Grooming, you name it. But I managed to narrow it down. My first or my absolute favorite scent this year was released very early in the year. This was released in mid to late January. And this is Cole's Pond by Talbot Shaving. This is just a wonderful scent. This is exactly, this is right down my alley in terms of what I like for scents. It's mossy, it's aquatic, it's dark, it's spicy. It, it, it truly is my favorite scent of this year. It's in my top five scents of all time, probably third. It, it's absolutely wonderful. Talbot Shaving, unfortunately, this is a, um, a limited release. So the only way you can get this is through PIF or buying it off of someone pre-owned. My runner up, and this is very close. This is Pedro Fiasco. This is a cologne dupe, but when Peter 
does cologne dupes. He doesn't do them like everyone else. This is his take on Reflection Man by Amage. And it's just to die for. for. For me, this is better than the cologne. This is this scent is better than the cologne. I'd say he's darkened the cologne a little bit. And it just makes this wonderfully masculine dark accord. It's it's truly wonderful. You can still buy this soap. Um, you need to subscribe to uh, this club shaving shop. I believe it's twelve ninety five every six months. It's fantastic. You get a discount on A and E products and so on and so forth. So yeah, absolutely amazing. So those are my two favorite scents: Coles Pond and Pedro Fiasco. My next category is the new soap base of twenty nineteen. Now, I know what you're all thinking, and I probably don't subscribe to that. Maybe, but I don't. My number one soap base of 2019 is going to be Sago by Zingari Man. For me, there have been plenty of fantastic soap bases this year. There's been Kodiak by Murphy McNeil, Milk Steak, Sierra, um, Excelsior. There's been loads of fantastic bases. What sets this apart for me is I found a lot of the soap bases, I'd say minus... Um, Kodiak and Excelsior are tricky to work with. What I'm looking for in a soap is I'm looking for a soap that whips up quickly and efficiently. The only, I wouldn't say a downside to this soap base, it can take a lot of water but it has such a high hydration band that there's quite a lot of room for error. It's a fantastic soap. When you do dial it in and you get to that consistency you're looking for, it is the densest pretty easily for me. It's the densest lather you get. It's also top three slickness and the post shave is just absolutely out of this world. Heather has blown away a lot of the competition with her first tallow base. And yeah, I can't really say more. Number one for me, Sago by Zingari Man. Runner up, um, you guessed it. This is Declaration Milk Steak. Why isn't it number one, you ask? Well, the reason why this isn't number one is because like Icarus, there was something I really didn't like about the characteristics of the Icarus soap base. It was the fact that it has a very narrow hydration band. And what happens, as a shaver, I add lots and lots of water. I add and add and add. I mean, you've seen from my shaving videos, Sago is more suited to the way I shave than Milk Steak is. But I will tell you, both of these dialed in I think milk steak is marginally better. Not by much, but it's much harder to dial in. And I think all in all, as a complete package, I do prefer Sago. So number one, Sago by Zingari Man. And number two, Milk Steak by Declaration Grooming. My next category, however, is most innovative artisan of the year. And what I mean by innovative, I mean an artisan that's constantly trying to improve their product, trying to create new products, new scents, obsessed with improving. And there's a few, there's a few that came to mind and there's a few that I need to consider during the, like, the creation of this video. And then it was obvious to me, like th there is one for me and I don't know if you guys will agree. Most innovative artisan of the year goes to Ariana and Evans or the club shaving shop. The reason that is, I think Peter is obsessed with improving his brand, getting his brand out there, creating important kind of next steps for products within wet shaving. Um, serum is an example of that. This is my favorite travel product by far. I showed you the soap. Um, this soap is updated in his, I call it the 1.1 A&E soap base. It's similar. The ratios have been tweaked a little bit to create a slightly denser lather. That was the notice I made. And he's also released this. This is Face Spackle. This is a shaving cream, and it's the best shaving cream I've ever used, bar none. There's nothing that competes with this in terms of shaving cream for me. Um, the scents are all innovative. He's constantly working on scents, and he's still trying to improve. He's a very hungry artisan. Most innovative artisan of the year, easily for me, goes to Ariana and Evans. Next one is my best newcomer of the year. And for me, this was pretty obvious. Um, there's been, I, I don't know how many new new artisans there's been, but there was one that screamed out to me pretty quick. And uh, based out of Texas, Flower Mound, Texas, um, I would give this to Murphy and McNeil. He has 
I mean, he came out the traps with an incredible soap base as it is. Like I had um, Clan Bata, I had uh, Green Man Fougere. His first soap base, the only problem I had with that was how soft it was. Kodiak, however, this is a special edition soap base. And this is one, one of the best in the shaving space for me. That coupled with the fact that he's really innovating with scents makes him, in my opinion, the best newcomer of the year. Um, the, the best new soap base of the year, one of them anyway. I mean, like I said, top top five maybe. Yeah, so um, top newcomer of the year for me goes to Murphy and McNeil. Fantastic artisan. If you haven't bought anything from them, I suggest you check them out. My favorite splash of the year, kind of, it's kind of obvious if you watch this channel. Um, Sean Mullen from Male Grooming has done quite a lot over these past year or year and a half or so. What he's managed to do is he's managed to create a well-rounded product base and kind of his main lineup of Wildflowers, Frankenlime, Marlow Wood and Helioptera's. What that was for me is that was an introduction into aftershaves, but what a good thing there was the fact that all of those scents appeal to different soaps. So if you didn't have matching aftershaves for loads of different soaps, one of those was very likely to work. Not only that, I think he by far has the best aftershave formula, but none. I don't think there's a, there's not really close competition for me either. I think he's absolutely incredible. He has recently uh, paired with Talbot Shaving and you guys know how much I love Talbot Shaving. I really don't think there's a better post-shave product on the market. And honestly, I don't think there will be in 2020 either. He's improving the base once again. I don't know how he can get better from this. But yeah, best aftershave of 2020 for me, or 2019 rather, is Mel Grooming. Last but very not least, my best brush maker. Now, what I'm not going to consider here is I'm not going to consider hand-tied knots. Um, mainly due to the fact that you're going down a bit of a rabbit hole for me. Uh, hand tie knots. In fact, what you look for in a brush is very subjective anyway. My my 2019 brush maker of the year is Turn and Shave. Uh, Milton at Turn and Shave has become a pretty good friend of mine. Um, he's very, very easy to communicate with. He can pretty much do anything in terms of brushes you want him to, within reason, you know. Um, his knots, his mass produced knots, in my opinion, are also the best. Um, I don't know where he gets them, I don't know where he sources them, but the tip knots he uses are almost as good as some of the hand-tied knots I've used. His brush innovation and the way he designs brushes as well is absolutely fantastic. He does loads and loads of shapes, loads of patterns, works with a few different materials. I, I think in terms of brush makers, he's only going to improve from here. I mean... He's one of the best as it is, so I really don't see him, I don't see how he can improve, but he will. He's assured me that he's working on some stuff for 2020. He hasn't told me what it is yet, and he's not gonna, but I'm sure that'll catapult him even further. So my brush maker of 2019 is Turn and Shave. Milton is fantastic. If you haven't bought a brush from him, absolutely do so. I actually have another one, but I don't know where it is. I have four brushes from him. Four brushes and five knots. Um, fantastic, easy to deal with, great guy. So a recap. My favorite razors of 2019. Carve Christopher Bradley in stainless steel. And the home-like start razor made out of Russia. My best scents of 2019 are Talbot Shaving, Coles Pond. And Pedro Fiasco by The Club. My best soap bases, Winner, Sago by Zingari Man, and Runner Up, very, very, very close Runner Up, Milk Steak by Declaration Grooming. My most innovative artisan of 2019 goes to Peter Trikalis, Ariana and Evans. My best newcomer of 2019 is Murphy and McNeil. My best aftershave of 2019 is Mel Grooming out of Canada. And last but not least, my best brush maker of 2019 
is turn into shape. We've had a great year. We're going to have a better year. Speaking from Carve's perspective, we've got a lot planned in 2019. Stuff we're really excited about. We're going to announce quite a few new things in the next few days. Yeah, I hope you guys have had a fantastic year and another year of great shaves ahead. Apart from that, if this is the first video you've watched from mine and like the content, check out some more of my stuff. And if you like that, please consider subscribing. My name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Have a wonderful rest of your year. And I'll see you next year. Goodbye for now.